right. This is The Wire. Uh, season 1, episode 2, titled The Detail. Uh, I have to say this. So, as f for the first two episodes that I watched, this show is very direct. And by that, I mean the characters are almost overly predictable. Now, usually I don't think that's a good thing, but it's offset by the amount of activity that's going on in the background or the amount of activity that's involved in the story. So, for instance, you've got a cop who's basically stirring the pot a little too much. I mean, he's getting the ball moving in the right direction, but towards towards something that only he wants to do, like a agenda that he only has. Like he wants, for some reason, he wants to take down this particular uh, criminal enterprise. Everybody else is pretty much doing their job, which is like, do you want that from the police actually? Oh, that's an, hey, that's a good point. This show actually, not only is it uh, entertaining, but it's, it's, it's a conversation starter because that's that's it's a conversation starter it's like is this the reality of how the police operate in this particular city or it can that be uh compared to other cities that's that's a great point about this show so far it's a it's a conversation starter that's pretty cool um what else happens in this show um this particular episode i think i got sidetracked a little bit yeah so he's stirring the pot and trying to get this trying to get more resources um, put towards his particular cause, which is taking down these guys in this one particular hood. And by him doing that, it's, he's not making no friends. So everybody pretty much hates him. Um, the people that are uh, assigned to this case aren't worth much. So he's like, come on, man. But he's like, he's pretty low on a totem pole. He's higher than most, but not at the top. And the guy he has to answer to doesn't like him at all because they're trying to stop him from making a situation worse than it, than it already is, at least from their perspective, because they're trying to do police work. I mean, the way I see it, these, these particular officers, they, they were doing regular police work, but this case, this issue was brought up to them and everybody's getting chewed out for it and now they're trying to move forward with a case but you know they've been given uh less than adequate help so that makes things worse and on top of that you know you got you know he's also he's so unpredictable they're they're trying to they're trying to stop him from making things harder for them to do their job i think i said that twice in two different ways but that, that's what's going on with him in particular. There's a lot going on because each character has their own has their own story. I think the balancing act is also very done very well in this in this uh, in this series so far. I mean, I don't as a viewer I don't feel overwhelmed by the amount of 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 uh, of story that's or, or the backstory or story or in general that's coming from each character. I'm like it all fits together in a nice little puzzle, really. Um, but the thing that, well, it's not the thing that stood out. The thing I want to talk about is, uh, there's an individual that's like, had, had a history of basically like, uh, what is, the, what is the phrase? Uh, accidental discharge and, 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 and uh, what's that? misconduct and all type of stuff. He gets involved with two guys who are basically most likely they were jocks and, in college or high school and now they got a gun and a badge and you know that's not necessarily a good thing they decide after drinking a lot of beers they decide to go to the apartments uh, or, or the projects and like raise some hell but of course that doesn't end well uh like a 12 year old kid winds up getting no i'm sorry uh, one kid winds up getting getting shot i think and another kid he pistol whips the kid and the kid winds up losing his uh, sight of one eye, and it's just, it snowballs from there. Um, also, you've got uh, the individual we were introduced to in the first episode who, who was, who was a, like acquitted of murder. He's getting harassed by the police, and it, it did something interesting, I think. They fabricated a complete story because the only person that 
uh, testified against him uh, or, or point him out as an eyewitness inside the court winds up getting murdered and that case winds up falling on uh, the main character from the police side, his partner. He winds up taking that case and it's like, well, they're trying to like, hide the fact that, it's, that, it, that it, it may be linked to the case that they're doing to keep it out of the media, but the media winds up getting it anyway and then the main guy gets uh, wind up getting blamed for that. Now, nobody really likes him. They really don't even want to talk to him because I feel like they feel, the characters feel like he's making their job a little bit harder, which it probably is, but I can't see from their perspective because I'm, I've never been a police officer. Um, I've never been a street guy either, so I, I can't see from their perspective. But they're moving more quietly, but you you see things that are ruffling. He's kind of this individual that we've been introduced to in the first episode. I, I swear I'll get the name sooner or later. He's uh, making 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 it hard to operate business. So, oh, that's a parallel. That's an interesting parallel. You have one individual on one side that's making it hard for uh, the police to kind of like do their job uh, effectively, and then you got an individual on the, the bad guy side who is making it hard for them to continually uh, generate income. That's interesting. It's a nice parallel. What else do they have in this thing? What else should I talk about? Um, hmm, what else? What else? What else? What else? You know what? I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now, but I'm pretty sure there was there's something else that happened in this episode. I just watched it. Well, I watched it a few hours ago. Should I should have did a, a reaction right right after I saw it? Because now I'm drawing a blank. Ooh. Um. Oh, the young lady who the young lady who um. She's like on uh, 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 she's like has her ear to the street. Oh, that's it. The her her relationship with that informant is interesting because they're putting in a lot of work. They're gathering so much intel to be able to have an effective. Uh, they're gathering a lot of intel in, in order to have an effective um, uh, line or or line towards like the finish line, a goal towards the finish line. If that makes any sense. They're trying to gather all the players so they can understand what they're working with so they can effectively uh, deconstruct it or make it implode or take it down or whatever. Which I really like the work she's putting in. Um, a lot of the characters are are uh, they're interesting. The, the, the connections between the characters are very interesting. I'm enjoying it. I mean but I feel like there's a, there's a great balance that comes with all these characters because each character has like separate uh, separate situations going on but of course they all fold into one not necessarily connecting in like oh this person does this but it's also the same as this person doing that no it's like this person does that they're on the same they're, they're establishing teams very well I like that um, also I'm really drawing a blank here also um, did that mention how direct they were I mean I can't go any direction other than like hey they are really it's really predictable I feel like but as far as the show being predictable I don't think that makes it bad I actually like that I like the fact that it's somewhat predictable because I can kind of expect what's going to happen which I don't know I'm still, I still I have mixed feelings about it so far I still have mixed feelings about it maybe if I continue to watch a couple episodes I, I, I'll change my mind about that I don't know 